During the winter of 2011, I was having lots of trouble breathing and actually hearing noises during the night that would wake me up, breathing noises. I had a, a tumor the size of an orange in my lung and it was leaning on my airway. I found out it was stage four um, lung cancer. I have never smoked. I'm a never smoker that has lung cancer. From the beginning, I've shared with my son what was going on and the diagnosis as I was getting it. And I've been trying to make sure that he understands that this is a terminal illness. At the beginning, probably for a month or so, I was in shock, especially since each visit and each test, the news was a little bit worse than the time before. When they first diagnosed me and said it was stage four, I was expecting to have lung surgery and have it be gone. And I wasn't a candidate for surgery because it had already spread. It was in lymph nodes throughout my chest cavity. However, when they found out it was the EGFR mutation, I kind of got an inkling that there was actually hope. And then they suggested I could go on this clinical trial with Tarceva. Things had dramatically shrunk. In the first few months I was on it, I had about an 80% shrinkage. Patients who take EGFR inhibitors, who have EGFR mutant lung cancer, about 60 to 70% of the time their tumor shrinks, compared to maybe 30 to 40% with chemotherapy. Now, although we see a much higher response rate, that is, it'll shrink by more than half uh, in the majority of patients, uh, it nearly always comes back. After about a year, I started to show resistance to it and there was some growth. It developed something called acquired resistance. What that means is that the drug that initially works no longer works. After a year and a half, they were looking for another clinical trial for me. And at that point I changed to crizotinib and decomitinib in combination and um, had pretty significant side effects from that. It wasn't working for me, so after about six months, I needed to have some other option. And then this one, the AZD9291. And it kind of has been fortuitous that I'm in the right place at the right time because that came available in the U.S. right when I needed it to be. I've been on it for a year, so I think it's the first six or seven months I had shrinkage. We find this is a very encouraging piece of news by using personalized medicine to break this down into 10 or more subsets of lung cancer, you potentially have the capability of treating people where the treatments can last for years rather than months that we've typically seen in the past. Medicine is being personalized and cancer treatment is being personalized and I am a big, happy beneficiary of this uh, targeted therapy that I'm on. I mean, it just has extended my life and extended my quality of life. I've been taking some trips with my son. Part of what I've been trying to do is give him some good memories. And we're hoping next summer to go to London. Traditionally, if you go really look around the country and ask what fraction of patients actually participate in clinical trials, it's quite low, it's about 5%. Um, and, uh, but it is, a, it is the way we will make improvements. It is the way that we have, have made improvements. And for, for patients like Deb, it, it turned out to be an incredibly effective therapy. But I would absolutely encourage people to make the effort to get to a center that has clinical trials. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Because clearly I'm here and doing relatively well three years after a stage four lung cancer diagnosis and most of the time my life feels pretty good. It's absolutely essential. It's the only way we'll know and, and develop new therapies for cancer. Your tumor is actually continuing to shrink. Oh, good. Um, so That's very good news. We don't always see that at this point. Sometimes it's just kind of stopped growing, you know, no new nodes or nodules and things. So I think this is, you know, just, just what we hope, hope to see. I feel like it is almost like normal life. As long as I manage my time and I take care of pacing myself, um, I really can do almost anything I want to do.